Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The Yoruba movie industry has been rocked by a recent controversy which involves the Yoruba actor Baba Jesha molesting a 14 years old girl for 7 good years when she was 7 years old. That was when the molestation started according to previous reports. Since this incident has been reported, a lot of actors and actresses have been commenting on it. And this also includes the Nollywood actress Tondo Dike who came out to have a discussion on it and she made a statement. She said if the allegations are true, that she hopes that Baba Jesha will rot in jail and they do the same to him when his soap drops in the prison. Now what? If this is true, I will personally make sure he never sees the light of the day. However, this seems to have upset a popular Yoruba actor and musician, Kain Day Adams, who is popular in his leg in Miami. And he also reacted to what Tonto DK said. He went ahead to make a video and called the Nollywood actress a mad woman for insulting Yoruba movie industry after she attacked Baba Jesha. And of course, while Lambastin Toto, he accused her of using this opportunity to throw jabs at Yoruba actors. Also, a lot of people are correcting Toto DK that this act is not committed by Yoruba movie industry. It has been committed by one Yoruba actor and even his colleagues are speaking against this act. It's just like a pilot committing a crime and you are condemning the whole aviation industry. However, another accusation has risen as a popular blog on Instagram which goes by the name Gis Lovers, has made a serious allegation and according to Gis Lovers, in their words, Lege Miami want to draw it back to that incident that happened at your residence some years back at Iwaya in Lagos State and you raped a 16 years old jambat. The girl is in the deer. The girl you raped and you lied to her that you're going to give her a movie role. We are gathering all the information. And if not because the Yoruba movie industry is open to everyone, why would a rapist be found among Yoruba movie industry? The popular blog also went ahead to drag this Yoruba actor that he is not even a famous actor in the Yoruba movie industry, according to them. And according to them, he committed this crime some years ago when he raped the 16 years old girl. This is a serious allegation. Meanwhile, just yesterday, Yabo Ojo also came out to address her colleagues as some of them are bent on seeing the CCTV footage first before they can believe that Baba Jesha committed this crime as they are citing what happened to Baba Suwe some years ago. Baba Suwe, according to the court of law, was totally innocent of what he was accused of doing. And at the end of the day, they already damaged his image and dragged him for months. So a lot of Yoruba actors and actresses are a bit skeptical before they jump into conclusion. So Yabo Ojo then addressed them yesterday and this was all she said. This video is from my colleague in the Yoruba industry. We all heard what happened about Baba Jesha and the rape issue since yesterday. People boasting Baba Jesha's picture with some write-ups. Some people are saying it was framed. Some are saying we should wait. Some are saying this and that. I just want to beg my colleagues please. In no way should we try to defend them. Because this is one of the reasons a lot of girls that have been molested, a lot of boys that have been molested and raped. Not only the girl child gets raped, the boy child too gets raped. This is the reason why a lot of them don't come out to voice their opinion, most especially if they've been molested by a prominent person or a known figure or someone in power. We always have this thing about why is she saying that? Maybe because she was this way or maybe because the mother was not doing that. They will always try to look for an excuse. There is no excuse for rape, there is no excuse for molestation, there is no excuse. A pedophile is a pedophile, it doesn't need any excuse to rape. Wait, I'm not judging him yet, I'm not calling him pedophile yet, but I've heard the story. He molested and raped a child 7 years ago. Like the child said, he was invited over, they set him up by putting a camera and eventually fell. Why did he fall? That is question number one. Question number two, yes we cannot judge him now, because we have to leave that to the court and the judges to do. So until then, we wait for the final verdict. Until then, we wait to listen to everything that goes on in the court back and forth. Please do not ask them to post that video because a minor is involved, a 14 years old girl is involved in that picture. And if you're a mother or a father, I don't think you want the video of your child being molested parading in the internet. I don't think you want that because Ejeka Yarawani brain. So do not ask for that. He's arrested, he's being detained. If you want to know where he is, just go to where he has been detained and you can get a lawyer if you want to do that. But don't come on social media and say because you're a celebrity we are trying to repair some image. If you're a celebrity and you did not think of your status before you committed such a crime, you're on your own. 
I don't support rubbish. I'm your mother and it is annoying when I see some people trying to defend him and saying he was set up and all sorts. Excuse me, there is a 14 years old girl involved. Are you guys okay? Can you people just be okay for once? Please don't compare Baba Sube's case to this case. They are two different things. I'm doing this video for the Yoruba movie industry and trying to say that it was set up. I'm doing this video for the people in Yoruba movie industry who are trying to say that it was set up. If you don't know the story, try and find out about the story. And it over support you go buy one she from my go buy the lomo one she from she understand. So I do all things about fuck up. I just come up boom fuck up. Mo be on my corner first us. Mo the law on my corner. To pop team on top. Tomba she will go to join Barry Nicole. Mo be more be on Priscilla. Mo be she will go to join Barry. I just go ready. If me not carry, to buy she will go to join Barry. I just go ready. People are not normal people. They have mental issues, and we must learn to take them off the streets because a lot of children are going to be victims. And this is the reason we have the kind of society we have today. A lot of people are battling with mental health issue because of the situations like this. So please, because he's a celebrity, he's my colleague Koshemiri. But hey, let's call it speed a speed and stand with the truth. And I will stand with the truth because I'm a mother. So a journey to real long. Stop supporting rubbish. Thank you. This was the statement Yabo Ojo released yesterday as she warns her colleagues who are saying that Baba Desha might have been framed and she says that they should stop comparing this story to what happened to Baba Sue some years ago. Also, Biodo Pewo made a statement earlier when she posted a picture of Baba Jebu and she asked that, please, who has the footage where the disgusting, abominable and she posted a picture of Baba. Also, Biodo Onkewo made a statement a while ago. And she posted the picture of Baba Jesha asking that, please, who has the footage where the disgusting, abominable, and unimaginable act is being committed? Or at least his confession. I have some unused causes if he's found guilty. This is hard to believe. Crestfallen is even an understatement. I'm emotionally shattered. Can't wrap it off my head. As a mother, I'm practically in tears. I can't imagine anyone doing such to one's daughter. I will kill the person myself. Well, I it is his truth, and Baba Jesha disgraced us. So, we have come to the end of this episode where a Yoruba actor will react to the news of Baba Jesha and trying to say that they should not use this opportunity to hit at Yoruba actors, as also being wrapped in his own controversy.